Welcome back. So today I'm gonna be doing a no makeup makeup, the clean girl look, the yoga skin. So it's very minimal, very natural, glowy, my skin but better type of vibe. It's very sheer, very minimal, you know. This is my version of a no makeup makeup look, um, also known as the clean girl aesthetic, also known as boy beat. Remember when it's called boy beat? I like that. Natural, whatever that means to you. Products that I use are going to be listed down below and uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and or me. I'm enjoyable. Let's get to it. I'm going to start by prepping my face today with the Coconut Skin Priming Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. I'm almost out of this and uh... I've had it for quite some time. I actually forgot that I had it. Um, but I think this is a very nice product. It has like a very unique smell to it too. And there's a little bit of luminosity as well. It's a good product. Um, I don't think that it makes a significant difference in my makeup. Uh, like it just feels like I'm using a, a moisturizer. I feel like it's like doing anything for my pores or my fine lines or, you know, anything. It just feels like I'm using a moisturizer. So it's it's doing its job, I guess. Probably will not repurchase because I could just use one of my moisturizers. So this is something I haven't, oh my hands are so, this is something I haven't ever talked about on my channel before. This is the Tatcha Kisu lip mask. Um, it comes with a little spatula, but I think I lost it. But uh, I just, I just dab my finger in. I'm gonna prep my lips with this, uh, because my lip is almost healed. Uh, I think the culprit is turning on the heat for the first time. My body does not like artificial heat if that makes sense. It also doesn't like artificial cold, like air conditioning. So it affects like my skin and my health like a lot. For some reason, I should probably ask my doctor. Kisu lip mask, um, it, it has like, it, like Japanese peach and squalane and like all this stuff, but uh, I can't help but feel like this is just really expensive goo. I haven't noticed a significant difference in the hydration and like not chapness of my lips. Not that it's bad, or it, it's just, I feel like there are cheaper products that are easier to, I feel like there are cheaper products <laughs> easier to apply and are more travel friendly than this. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I'm not, I, I've barely even made a dent in this, but it's, what I'm prepping my lips with right now, cause she's dry. Dad texted me. What did he say? Oh, he found my business card in his wallet. Thank you for letting me know. The stress. Update on bones, if you watched any of my other videos. Um, he gets his biopsy tomorrow, so I'm feeling a little like, manic, so I figured I would film something to kind of distract my brain. I'm using a kind of combination of old, older products that I haven't reached for for a while and some products that I haven't really dis established a relationship with. Um, I'm first going to start with an old favorite of mine, which is the Aborian Korean Skin Therapy. This is the CC Red Correct. So this has some SPF in it, I believe, um, like Oh, it's SPF 25. And this Red Correct, it it's just a very lovely product. I really like go on and on about it uh, because it, it just like does what it's supposed to do, you know? Very cosmetically elegant um, and it is slightly mattifying. So I prefer to use this with um, some type of moisturizing primer, just like a regular moisturizer underneath it. My skin gets paler in the colder months. I have a lot of allergies and 
a lot of these allergies show up in my skin, so I'm I have a gluten in intolerance. Um, I'm very adverse to sugar. Uh, a lot of like really wonderful things like bread and sh you know sugar makes my skin um, just blotchy, and I have a lot of hives. Since I'm olive complected um, in this lighting, you can't really tell, but I have a lot of green in my skin. Since I'm olive complected. Uh, having a green color corrector really gets rid of a lot of the like red blotchiness and even if you're not all of uh complected using a green color corrector will help you get rid of any type of like redness whether it's like blemishes or rosacea but i just like to take it all over my face because since i have so much green in my skin it just kind of melts in very seamlessly so sometimes I just keep it here and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. But I kind of wanted to use some Glossier products today. I used to be quite the Glossier girl. And uh, I go through phases with them. I go through phases where I'm like, I don't like this. And then I go through phases where I'm super obsessed. So we're just gonna try out the skin tint today. I haven't used this in a really long time. I actually believe like once it hits like, January or so, I'll probably get rid of this skin tint because I think it'll be expired. I use in the skin tint and the stretch concealer, I use this shade uh, G9. I think about like that much, it's super runny. And I'm just gonna kinda pat it through for a little extra luminosity. Yeah, like it's fine. It's n it doesn't do anything for your skin. It really is just like a cosmetic product, if you could even consider it that, because there's virtually no coverage <laughs> with the skin tint. Like it truly is just like this, it's like water with like a dash of pigment, I would say. It's formulated with alcohol, but it no longer is. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty seamless. It's very easy. It works best with your hands. There's some people that try to use it with a sponge and a brush and they're like, there's nothing happening. And it's like, well, yeah, dude, use your hands. Nothing really to write home about. You see, like, I don't, I honestly don't even really see like a difference in my skin. It feels a little more tacky now, but um, you know, that's, that's it. Like even on my hands, like there's not even really a difference. I used to be like a pretty ride or die for this, but it was, the skin tint's kind of what got me into uh, tinted moisturizers and like tinted serums and stuff like that. It's, it made my skin look, my skin looks pretty nice with those three products, so. Mm. So staying on the Glossier train, I'm going to go in with this stretch concealer. I haven't used this in a minute. It has quite the dent in it. Um, this formula is so emollient and I feel as though it I don't know man for what I'm trying to accomplish it does its job what it is it does its job like I want like light coverage I want it to be moisturizing I want it to be natural so uh <laughs> you know it's just this isn't long wearing it's not gonna be you know, covering like really intense blemishes or anything like that. It's not even gonna like combat a lot of my redness or anything. Uh, this specific product, I know a lot of people um, really like to use this with kind of a bigger brush or, or a sponge and just put this all over the face, almost like a tinted moisturizer. Um, and that's fine, but I've never really been into doing that too much. But um, I deem that this product is just, it does the job that it was made to do, which is look natural. It just is, it just is. Probably we'll never repurchase this again, um, but I'm not like trying to declutter it, if that makes sense. It just, uh, it just looks nice and it looks, it just looks nice. I do have a couple of blemishes, so I'm just gonna take my NARS Soft Matte Concealer um, and spot conceal some areas. Uh, like this little thing popped up overnight and I get a lot of redness like around my nose here. But my under eyes, like 
they're fine. Like I can kind of tap them out a little bit with this, kind of blend the two formulas together, but you know, they're, it's, it's supposed to be a natural look. So I don't really him and haw too, too much over trying to over conceal and perfect my face just as long as it looks like natural and healthy. That is the look that I try to go for. And I don't even like powder it down half the time. So we're just, we're just doing whatever today. I'm uh, gonna line my lips a little bit. Now that that uh, lip mask is uh, more absorbed into my lips, um, I'm lining with uh, NYX liner in natural because this truly is my lips, but better. See, seamless, just a little bit more defined. Um, this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade, whoop, the Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Iconic Nude. So NYX Natural, spend your money on this. Okay, last Glossier product, I swear to God, this is not a Glossier video. I just haven't used any of it in a pretty long time. This is the Glossier Boy Brow, and I use this in the shade Brown. This is kind of um, something I bought on a whim. I'm not really into tinted brow gels all that much. I'm more so like, I'm pretty comfortable with how my eyebrows look. I take towards products that will give me a feathery type of brow and or a laminated type of look. So I like clear brow gels. Um, but this, this, I mean, this is nice. This, this, um, it coats my brows evenly and it's a really nice color. Like I have, my hair is practically black. Like on my head, it's like, are an extremely dark brown, like probably a shade under black, like just slightly lighter than being black. Um, but my eyebrows and my eyelashes, uh, they're a very cool dark brown, if not just black. So uh, a lot of times the shade brown will pull too warm on my eyebrows and I'll just look kind of weird. This brown, um, it does not do that. So I really, really appreciate it. And it just provides a little extra something something to my eyebrows. Yeah. I think that looks really natural and it was super easy. So yeah, Glossy Boy Brow. Cult classic. But I would probably never rebuy because I just, I barely use it. Okay, so when I do kind of like an effortless, no makeup makeup kind of look, I really like to take just a blush. My go-to blush for no makeup makeup is the Nude Sticks Matte Blush in the shade Sunkiss. This uh, neutral bronzy sunkissed blush and it just just does the trick. It just blends out like pretty seamless. I usually don't wear any type of eyeshadows with these looks but I just like to take my blush bronzer thing and just kind of run it through my crease to create a little extra dimensionality and kind of take it out a little bit past my brow bone. Um, slightly feathered just to chisel this area of my face to provide just a little bit of lift. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna see if this Glossier lash lick is still good. I meant to throw this away <laughs> not that long ago because I was like, oh, it's it's totally dead. Like there's no more product. But then I just didn't. So, uh, oh yeah, it's fine. Formula is a tubing mascara if you don't know anything about it. Uh, the Glossy Lash Slick is a very natural, wispy looking lash. It comes with that plasticky type of wand that I really like. It just provides a very effortless, lash look. Some people like stand this product and some people don't like it at all. Um, 
I like it for a very effortless, non-weighed down type of lash. I'm also very particular about mascaras because um, I have really long, thick eyelashes. So traditional mascaras don't really, they work for me, but they just take two years to get out of my eyelashes. And throughout the day, my eyelashes feel kind of heavy and like weighed down. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else knows what I'm talking about, but if you do, please like this video because my God, the struggle is real. It's a very hard formula. So this, it's not heavy, but when it dries, it dries. It's not gonna flake, it's not gonna smudge, but you can't layer it for volume. Like this just separates the lash and gives it kind of a wispy natural look. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, you might like this. Um, and it's also pretty afford affordable. I think it's only like $18. Uh, Glossier in general is pretty affordable. Um, but yeah, it, it, you know, it's fine. It's since I've tried other like better tubing mascaras, it's no longer my favorite, but I was kind of a stand for this for a while. Um, but I should probably throw this away pretty soon. A newish product to me is the Kosas Lip Fuel. Uh, I don't really hear anybody talking about this. Um, but it's supposed, I haven't tried this yet, uh, it's supposed to be a hyaluronic lip balm, and there were like a few different shades. There was like a clear, uh, kind of a berry colored one, and then a kind of nudie beige. This is what I got, because uh, I thought it, I, I just really like tinted lip balm, so I figured I would give it a shot. Very strange, like deodorant-like applicator. It's, Oh, it's in the color flow, so I guess I'll just do that. Kind of like a, I don't know how to describe the scent on this. And it's kind of weird to get like the upper lip angling towards the cupid's bow is the trick. And then like that. It feels moisturizing but that is that yeah it's it's you know pretty on brand for what I like in a tinted lip balm like a beigey nude semi-glossy feels moisturizing doesn't feel like it's gonna dry me out oh, um I'm really interested to see how my relationship with this particular product develop okay so that is it thank you so much for watching this is my version of a like a quick get ready with me slash no makeup makeup. Very simple, glowy, effortless. Uh, yeah, it was very Glossier heavy and I totally didn't mean for it to be, but you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Thank you so much for watching and bye.